In other news, the prime suspect in the 2005 disappearance of Natalie Holloway pleaded not guilty to extortion and wire fraud charges in a Birmingham federal courtroom where he denied a translator. Joran van der Sloot was ex extradited to the U.S. from a Peruvian prison on an unrelated murder conviction. Prosecutors in the U.S. case alleged the Dutch national tried to extort $250,000 from the Holloway family in exchange for information about the location of the young woman's body, which turned out to be false. We were just really happy that this day has happened and Beth has worked so hard um, for years to get him on the soil in Alabama and to get him in a position where he can, you know, go, we can find some justice for what happened to Natalie. It's very emotional for everyone, but there's a real sense of relief and we're happy about this. And Beth Holloway there was among those in the courtroom Friday. Her daughter disappeared on the Caribbean island of Aruba when she was just 18 years old and her body has never been found.